The stoke is the third leading cause of death in the world. And the first leading cause of death in China. 6.5 million stoke deaths occurred annually in the world. Plus, stoke is a major health problem and caused huge economic burdens in the world. Although age standardized the mortality of stroke and the fatality of stroke reduced, however, the absolute number of stroke deaths and crude mortality rate were still increased in the past 10 years, especially in the rural. Stroke risk can affect anyone, from common people, physicians, to celebrities like a former president of the United States, Roosevelt, and a former prime minister of the United Kingdom, Sacho. In just the last minute, 13 stroke days occurred in the world. Within this conference room, about more than 20 individuals here, it's estimated around two to three individuals will be died with stroke in our lifetime. How could we identify those at high risk for stroke and prevent a stroke epidemic? In the United States, age standardized mortality were reduced 40% in the past 10 years. The major improvement of stroke outcomes were from primary and secondary prevention. Suppose you had a close relatives who had a stroke at his younger age, and you are more likely to develop a stroke. But you cannot change your genetic background and reverse your age. Something we still can do for prevention of stroke. There are several major modifiable risk factors for stroke, including hypertension, dyslipidemia, diabetes, and arterial fibrillations. Hypertension can significantly increase the risk of stroke if it's not well under control. In addition, lifestyle like smoking, unbalanced dietary behavior, physical inactivity, and too much work stress, or increase the risk of stroke. Identifications High risk of an individual for stroke is not totally relied on a single risk factor. For example, a hypertensive man aged 45 years and a diabetic woman aged 55 years. Who is at high level risk? That multivariable prediction model is needed to solve this problem. Academy societies produced cardiovascular risk prediction model American Stroke Association's developed a stroke risk scorecard and similar workers we are working on in China. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used the stroke prediction model before? In fact, they are not quite used often in clinical setting. Let alone in our life, this model can predict risk of stroke well at population level, but not precisely at individual level. How can we do? Dealing with these problems, in the last 15 years, genomic studies identified some genetic markers associated with stroke. And last year, the United States launched a precision medicine program, in which the major focus is to figure out genetic signatures with stroke and provide the opportunity to predict risk of stroke at the individual. In clinical setting, modern technologies such as CT angiographic MNR and a pet CT, or can provide precise molecular phenotypers for subclinical and clinical stroke patients. Now, in an era of big data, hospital information, labs information, and electronic medical records and packets are essential for integration information from general populations, out clinic, and stroke patients in terms of prediction model development and prevention of stroke. In conclusion, stroke is a complex disease and a major health problem in human beings. Multivariable prediction model integrating genetic signature with molecular phenotyping image could be an advanced and precise tool to prediction of a stroke at the individual and could be used in prediction, prevention, and management in coming years for stroke. So thank you for your attention.